gorgeous. So I'm just here outside the hotel waiting for my bus to today's adventure which is something like bucket list material for me and over the last obviously two days I've never had so many compliments on my skin before girls all saying that my skin is a beautiful color and they'd love to have skin like mine and I'm looking at these girls like they have flawless sallow tanned silky skin the exact skin I'm trying to achieve when I wear a fake tan so it just goes to show we're never happy with what we have are we as women well as as people um, just thought that was so interesting so if you're ever like not confident about your pale skin come to Thailand because it'll boost you right up oh I think this is me now hey everyone morning yeah. I'm at the Elephant Nature Park. My favorite animals in the entire world are elephants. You might know that already about me. Oh, it's also a dog rescue center. So there's loads of these beauties around too. I'm so excited. A lot of people might have some opinions about me being here and vegan and for the animals and all that, but I will address that at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy the day. Like myself. <laughs> it's the elephant kitchen. All oh, the food they eat on a daily basis. They have a cat sanctuary here, loads of cats. Happy out. Hello. Me. She doesn't want any more water. Just slapping on some sunscreen. This, oh, this one stole all my bananas. All gone. All gone. Saz. These water buffalo were rescued from. You guessed it, the slaughterhouse. The girl is the troublemaker. This lady is 90 years old and she has a tumor on her leg. Totally inoffensive. And that scar there on her back leg is from a chain, a shackle. It is hot. I don't know if you can tell, but it's extremely hot. I had to.
That's been on there for about 15 minutes. Not sure what it is, but I'm going to debrief after the day. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to come in for some criticism. You know, Laurie went to be vegan, all about the animals. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing going to an elephant center? The difference. Okay, no, first of all, totally get it. Totally get that, and I totally see the, the hypocrisy. Hypocrisy? Hypocrisy. By that. However, <clears throat> the place that I went to is called Elephant Nature Park. It's about an hour and a half for Chiang Mai. It was started by a woman years and years and years ago who really loved elephants and didn't like to see them mistreated. And back then, elephants were worth like nothing. So she adopted four that were injured and she had no money for land. And about seven years in, she's looking after these elephants, going from like land to land. And this Texas man heard of her, got in contact, and a month later, she had six million dollars in her bank account from said Texas man. So from there, she bought the land that she's on now, and she now rescues elephants, dogs, cats, water buffalo. Um, I think that's basically it. The facility, I'm going to, again, be hypocritical here and say it's not ideal to have elephants still somewhat captive. However, they're not suitable for release into the wild, first of all, for two reasons. Number one, because a lot of them were either born in captivity or captured as very, very tiny baby elephants, calves, and would not be able to survive in the wild by themselves. And second of all, there's not enough forest in Thailand to sustain them. There are only, I think there's 3,000 Asian elephants left. I think I heard that correctly. And there's just not enough forest to sustain them because the forests are being torn down at such a quick rate. So, until there is enough forest, it's not an idea, it's not ideal to release them. So, it cost about 70 euro to spend the whole day there. And it was, an amazing experience. There was one lovely elephant called Tilly and I felt like me and her we kind of hit it off. She loves bananas so I mean obviously me and her are BFFs and she kept giving me little smooches and it was really really nice. The group that I went with um, it's always a little bit awkward at the start because no one wants to talk but as we got chatting during the day all amazing lovely lovely people loved it. Um, it was an amazing day and if you do get a chance to go to or if you do want to visit an elephant sanctuary I'll put it like that and you want to go to a good one the one that I recommend is the elephant nature park some of the stories about the elephants there are just like devastating I wore sunglasses for most of the day partly because of the sun but mostly because I was like crying underneath them there was one particular elephant whose foot was completely blown off by a landmine and it's completely mangled to this day she can't put her weight on it Another one had her eyes, <clears throat> one, she, she had a miscarriage while she was working and her trainer, arsehole, um, kept her moving, wouldn't let her stay, so then she refused to work. So he got a slingshot and slung out one of her eyes. Um, she then became aggressive with him, so he stabbed out her other eye. And it's when you hear things like this that you realize, um, how disgusting we are as a species. A lot of the elephants there are special needs. It's like a little, I suppose like a home for them. A lot of them have mental health problems. There was one elephant, she was rescued a year and a half ago from, I think it was a circus. And to this day, she still walks around and around in circles thinking that that's her job and that's what she has to do. It's just, it's a heartbreaking place to hear all the different stories. And I do recommend you go and do not fucking ride elephants, please, please. I knew about this like even before I was vegan. When I went to India in 2014, I absolutely refused to get up on the elephants because something just did not sit right with me about it. I knew it wasn't fair. So yeah, both the best and worst day of my life. The best because I love elephants, they're my favorite animal. And I got to like interact with them. And the worst because I got to hear some of the worst things. So that's pretty shit. So yeah, if you're coming to Chiang Mai, I do recommend Elephant Nature Park. It's a company I definitely am going to support on a regular basis from now on. It's non-profit. So yeah, <clears throat> that is the end of today's vlog. It's only six o'clock, but I am stinking. I need a shower and I need to 
go to bed because I want to go to party in the morning. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!